Bordeaux. Okay, here we go. This ain't a dough. Let's see here. What is going on, my beautiful people? We are back out here today where we put all the mineral and uh, have a really good site for the upcoming deer season. And today, Dad actually picked some corn and we shucked it and we got all the corn off to make basically cream corn that we then freeze. And so we have a bunch of corn cobs. So I thought, what happens if you put a bunch of corn cobs in front of a trail camera? I know a lot of people put regular like deer feed corn out in front of it. But what if you put the cobs out? I know deer will tear it up because I know they've eaten plenty of our cornfield. But uh, I'm going to just put this out here and see what comes to it. So we're going to just make us a nice pile. Uh, there's a trophy rock out here that we're going to cover up and we'll see what we get. See you in about two weeks. All right, guys, we are back out. I'm actually wearing the same shirt, but it's two weeks later, and I've done laundry. Um, basically, there's still a bunch of corn cobs, but it looks like there have been plenty of visitors coming through moving them and eating off of them. The trophy rock is uncovered and has gotten a little bit smaller. The trail camera's still on. We're going to pull that card and get back to the house. Um, before we get back to the house, we're actually going to set up a mineral site here. So if you're not sure how to set up a mineral site or just want to see me use a new product, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. That way you're not missing out on this upcoming video. We have made it back today to the house after just pulling this trail camera card uh, of the corn cobs. And we have the trail camera card here. And uh, we're going to put it into the computer and we're going to see what we got. So right off the bat here, looks like we have 52 videos. Uh, looks like we got a doe here. Actually, no, the first video is of a little spike coming in. So that's pretty good to see. We got a little bitty spike coming in. And uh, you can see he's got that long side. This might be unicorn, but I highly doubt it. Since last year he used a spike, I would hope he's not a spike again. But it definitely looks like some of his genes, uh, as you can see it in the second video. Then we got the does rolling in. I'm not going to play any of the videos of the does. I'm, I'm sure you all know what a doe looks like while it's eating. Then we got a mom and her babies. Uh, I'll play that video just because little baby deer are sometimes kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? They're just so cute. Alright, so we're about halfway through. Uh, we had that spike early on. We got some does coming in. More dough. Okay, here we go. This ain't a dough. Let's see here. Oh yeah, this is that uh, little eight pointer we had gotten before. Uh, he would look like a pretty good. Actually, no, he's a ten. He did finally split. That crab clock finally split out. Now he's a uh, perfect ten. He's two years old, but he's a ten pointer. Uh, he, <laughs> if this was Sandersville, I'd let this deer wait. Um, but considering it's eighty nine acres. And it's very heavily hunted uh, back up to a hunting property. That deer is not going to make it if he's seen. I know that for sure. Um, he's he's going to get finished. Oh, look at there. Here we go. Got another video of him. This actually isn't the same deer. This is a mainframe 8. This isn't the same deer. This is another decent buck, though. And it looks like he actually has a brow time that's kind of sticking off the front of that right side. That's really cool. All right, now here's a bunch of deer. Let's see here. Okay, now this is both of them together. So you can see there's a doe up here. There's actually a buck to the right of this video. We got a buck in the middle and we got a buck to the left. There's all kind of bucks in this video. Goodness gracious. All right, so the one on the left is that eight pointer we just saw. The one in the middle is the mainframe 10 that's a little bit smaller. I think that eight pointer might be a little bit wider. He might be a little bit of an older deer. It looks like he might be two or three. Um, the deer in the middle it definitely looks two year old in my opinion let's see if we have another video no that's the last one i'm gonna make this um one more time let's watch it one more time see what's going on so we got the taller eight pointer he is not very wide at all it looks like we got a little four pointer or six pointer over to the right side so i'm not worried about him and then over to the left we got that eight pointer that definitely looks like a bigger deer uh, he just looks wider and he He's not quite as tall, but he's pretty close. That 10-pointer is just tall and young. I don't know that I'd be able to take that deer. He's a good buck, but he's young. He's got so much potential for growth coming into the corn cob and mineral site. 
So I know a lot of people was hating on when I put that deer cane out there and uh, the mineral I put out, but uh, it's bringing in the deer, so I don't think there's having too much issues with it. But that's all we got for you guys today. So we ended up with not a bad trail camera for after a week. A uh, bunch of does, a couple spikes, and then two pretty decent bucks. Um, the eight pointer I would definitely probably harvest. The ten pointer, if I see with my bow, because as you guys know, I haven't killed a deer with my bow yet, which is a little embarrassing to be honest. But I've had plenty of opportunities. I just never wanted to take a doe. Um, I kind of want the first deer I kill with my bow to be a buck, and I want it to be a pretty decent buck. But uh, I probably would end up shooting that ten pointer with a with my bow, um, just because of the fact it's a ten pointer. But it's a really young deer. It kind of depends on what it looks like in person. The other eight-pointer I would definitely probably harvest. Um, but anyways, that's kind of what we have for today's video. We got some pretty decent bucks, and uh, I've put some mineral sites out beforehand. I'll link some up above you guys. And uh, make sure you either click this video over here if you haven't seen it, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that. I don't know if I got those switched up or not, but it's somewhere right in this area. Thanks for watching, and always remember, when nature calls, you better answer. Peace!